Hey guys, so I decided to film a video on how I do my nails. Um, I do them myself and I have like a problem of like getting bored really fast with my um, I know I just did these like not too long ago. I already started taking them off already. Um, so I'm gonna, they actually would look cute like small. I mean, of course not looking like that, but they would look cute small. But anyway, so I'm gonna um, go ahead and film a video of how I do my nails. So keep watching so normally like to get this off you could soak your nails but i don't feel like doing that so i'm just gonna buff my nails off. try to get as much acrylic off as i can try to remove as much of the product as i can so it just makes it easier Seven. Just because I really don't want to hurt my nail underneath since I'm going to be doing my nails again anyway. I just want to get as much off as I can. So I'm going to hurry up and speed through this part and then you guys can catch me doing the next thing. So we'll be right back. All right. So it only took me 10 years because um, I act actually had to soak my nails off because it was just taking me forever to get them off that way. Um, so yeah. But that's a good thing because then you know my nails are locked and loaded. They ain't going nowhere. They ain't lifting. They ain't breaking. They ain't doing none of that. So, um, anyways, on to the next thing. I'm going to be taking the cuticle filer. I'm going to go over all my nails with that. And I'm going to keep it at a 7. And I'm going to just get all that. Excess skin off. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to do that on every single nail, and then um, I'll be right back. Okay, so I changed my mind. I keep changing my mind. And don't mind the music in the background, because my nephew's over here. He's jamming, so let him live, you know? So anyway, the next thing I'm going to do is this little small cuticle bowl. I'm going to do one hand for this video. And I'm just going to go around with this one. So I'll just keep recording. Again, it's going to be out of seven. This is going to help clean it up a little bit more. So this is just going to help clean the edges more. This is actually like a little bit more um, gentle than doing the cuticle. Cuticle. <laughs> what the fuck? It's my problem. I can't yeah, talk. To... <laughs> the cuticle pusher, guys. The cuticle pusher. Come on, Victoria. Let's get it together. For your first video. I'm sorry. I'm looking like a straight idiot. <laughs> Not going to follow this girl. So yeah, I'm just going to do all these, I do have like a dust collector, but I'm not going to put that on right now because it's going to make so much noise. Hi Junie! Sir, can I have my space please? Okay, so I finished with that small one and where did I put it? It's probably right under my nose. Oh my god! <laughs> on drugs but I'm, I promise I'm not I'm just naturally special <laughs> all right so now that I like recuperated <laughs> is that the word <laughs> a little bit um the next thing that I'm gonna go in with is the larger file cuticle file I'm trying so hard not to laugh at myself like I'm just so ditzy so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna go around and this is a lot more gentle. I don't know if I said that already. It's a lot more gentle. Um, oh, yeah, I did say this part because you know what? I remember saying the beautiful pusher. <laughs> oh, my God. So, anyways. Yeah, y'all get the picture. 
So it's just like, I like this a lot because it just makes your nails look so clean. If someone has like a lot, if someone has a lot of cuticle, like I'll put the cuticle softener on there and still do the cuticle pusher. Um, just to get off as much as I can without like overdoing it. Yeah. My cuticle is pretty much gone because I'm always doing my freaking nails. So yeah, that's that. Pretty much. So now I'm gonna go with the rough filer and just go around the edges. Thing doesn't want to stand up. Oops. Go around the edges and then just go over the whole nail. And while you're doing this on a client or whoever, yourself, just to be on the safe side, you want to like, when you're going over your nail, you want to keep lifting this up so it doesn't burn them or yourself for that matter. Alright, I kind of speed through this on the video, just so you don't have to sit there and watch me do like every single nail. But then I just go back and I just go over it a little bit to like make sure it's like really nice and clean. That's it for that. But actually, no, that's not it for that. So, I'm just gonna brush my hand off with the dust. So right now, I'm just filing my nail just to make it, my real nail, just to make it nice and straight. Well, obviously, my real nail. Just to make them nice. I'm waiting for my other files to come in, but since COVID happens, I'm patiently waiting for my products whenever they decide to show up at my So yeah, that's that. Now I'm going to put my tips on. I got these ones from New Bellas. I pretty much know my sizes already because I constantly use these ones. Yes. But I like to size myself, I guess, first before I, um, before I put them on, just to make sure. But I pretty much know which ones to grab. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my tips now. Anytime you apply your tips to yourself or to a client, it's easier with a client. But you want to keep your hands straight and you want to really like, not just focus on the nail, focus on the whole finger. Um, that way when you apply them, they go on as straight as possible. And you won't get like a crooked nail or anything. Okay, and this is exactly like perfect example because I just put that one on crooked. And you also want to get it as close to the tip of the nail as you can, by the way. And let me just say, like, by no means am I like some type of nail guru. Um, I did get certified and all that. You know, I did take an advanced class, but this was this was requested by a few people. 
So I'm just going to show you how I do it, like how I was taught. I'm going to show you how I apply everything on myself. I don't but consider myself to be an expert on things. Like, I don't want to sit here and be like, yeah, this is how you do something. When I really, you know, I'm still learning, basically. And I'm going to do my nail short, actually. Now let me tell you something about the Ponderosa. And I, can I just don't that feel that like having them long right now. It's like that little hole in the It wasn't like Cheers. It was an unsafe I don't know. I just cheers. don't feel like. Right next door was where they had the AA meetings. And after AA, everyone would go to the Ponderosa. I can criticize the Dealing Ponderosa. with long nails at the moment, too. Okay, there's San Menifee at the time. Not a lot of places to meet men. So, she so went I'm to actually the cutting them pretty short. And That's a shocker, bro. Justin, I usually never have my nails this short. Oh my gosh. Was Based on but I am going to do the cow print design. But this time I'm going to use acrylic. Shoe, shoe so I cut them to the mic. To the mic. To the desired and length I wanted them. So now I'm just going to take that rough file again. Ugh, I hate that. And I'm going to go over. Like where I glue the tip on. So when you file, you just want to make sure you're getting those edges pretty good. Shop last minute gifts with up to seventy five percent off store wide. In an interview with Elise, he said Darlene started pounding him in the chest with her okay. fist. That she, she just seemed like such a nice person. She found her passion in life. She was minding her own business. And then this shithead took it all from her. All of Darlene's shoes, like her whole collection, got off. And then, like, okay, so I got all my nails filed. Oh my, oh my god, they are so short, but they look so cute. Like, look how nice and adorable they look. Like, even not even done yet, but that's like the filing process, guys. So far, so party. So, then now I'm gonna put on dehydrator and also primer. Well, I'm gonna just off the excess so dust so first, honey. And yeah. So gonna put the dehydrator on first. The true purpose of this airport. So let's start first or And then the primer. I always have a hard time opening that up for some reason. Odd. I can appreciate art, but like this art is just so large. So I'm taking my Kolinsky brush, and I have like all my products here. I do use different products, but it's because I haven't really gone like fully, fully like out like with the products that I want because I really want not polished products. I have, I do have some of their products. I have some of um, Model One's products and Valentino and Kiara Sky. There's another one that I missed. But I go to Philly Nail Supply right now to get all of my nail products. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing a huge order of not polish next week. And I can't wait. So when I first started, I was using the Model 1's um, acrylic and I hated it. I was like, oh my god, this is horrible. But then I realized I had to get better with my liquid to powder ratio and all that. Like, different acrylic thing applies differently. So, always keep that in mind when you're 
using new products or different products, whatever. Um, so today I'm going to use the Model Ones one, and it's dark pink. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to set up my nails, and um, I'm going to paint the cow print and all that stuff on, of course. I'm trying to, like, do this so you guys can actually see me. Like, I kind of want to get, like, one of them ones that go on your head. <laughs> So I can, like, show you exactly what I'm looking at when I do this. Ready. One so. of the murals is called In Peace and Harmony with Nature. Forest fire, and they have this look of worry, and, like, they look scared. But I want to actually show you, like, uh, some of the children how I apply mural are holding, like, a glass case my acrylic. And you really can't see anything that great on here. Animals. In the foreground, two caskets with bodies. Oh my them. god, I can't, I still can't get over the fact that I'm doing short nails. And then there's also like a an animal rib cage. It seems to be. It's a that baby. This is what the artist describes it as. Not me. So, not only did you just see. So, I'm sorry you guys can't really see too, too much of what I'm doing. But now we're seeing a cool but, ass, like, gouger looking guy grabbing a dog with, like, a lady holding a dead baby. There's just a lot going on. And then again, there's a happier side to this. I really can't set this camera up to make it, like, more. So, so far, that's what that one looks like. I'm still not done. I gotta add a little bit more acrylic. You did them short? Yeah, I know, right? Tell me about it. Yeah, I'm doing them short. I just think they look super cute, don't they? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Jim. Because you want to make sure that your nail is strong enough and it's even and it doesn't break. Oh, God, here comes this kid. Was it a coincidence, a misjudgment, or is there something bigger behind it? I don't know, that one is really uncomfortable. Could you imagine looking down, seeing that, and you're like... I'm starting to like short nails. Okay, you go to baggage claim, you see these creepy oils. But as soon as my long ratchet hole ones come in, I'm doing those. Mm -hmm. see, uh, these they still didn't come? Murals. Nope, one I'm waiting for it. Uh, wearing a gas mask, holding a rifle. Who are you calling? So finally, you leave the airport. You Calling you usually apologizing in the first place because who gives a sh oh, who gives a crap? Hi guys. Okay, so yes. Well, this is a good way for me to perfect. Um, Monday, which means murder, mystery, and perfect short now because mm -hmm. looks so cute already so far. Stormy. Stormy. <laughs> Every Monday, I sit down, I do my makeup, and I talk about a true crime case that's been heavy on my noggin, and um, it's yeah, the door. And he just couldn't, he couldn't get out of the car. The little boy, um, we don't even know if he was little. We're assuming he's a little boy. He just sounded terrified. And he also said that he oh thought his father had suffered a heart attack. I know. You ain't getting my paper towels all over the place. Yeah. He's quiet though. And, had not moved and still. The crash. He also claimed that he had no food or water and had no idea what he was doing. You need one, let me know, get a free one. He was using the wheel that was in the truck to try to communicate with anybody he could on the outside. Baby. But again, he had a really you better off raising tomatoes. To describe where he was so anybody could come and find was feeling more and more true to authorities and the people helping search. People were thinking it was a hoax because, again, they searched high, they searched low, and they just weren't finding anything. But also found no one by the name of Larry that had been reported missing the entire time. No father and son had been reported missing by any name, like in general. So authorities officially said, this is our gen. I'm getting tight pissed every time I review the yeah. video. Like I see that I wasn't recording but myself. Three hours. 
Okay, we're, we're, we're to get any I mean, I was recording myself, but like not to, like, how to like with doing my nails. Uh, Let's see what I'm doing. I mean, yeah. that's what I meant. He didn't give you any details like where he lived, like what his house looked like. You got nothing in those three hours. The case of Lost Boy uh, Larry joins a long list. He did fall he looks so cute, river, yeah. Let's say, hey, and you wouldn't be. I mean, yeah, he's cute too, but my nails. Yeah, <laughs> but he right? so cute. If somebody came yeah. up behind you, grabbed you, and he yelled out, so no, they dude. knew that his phone was still on. They have done searches on and off throughout the years, and they have failed to find any clue as to what happened to Brandon Swanson. And it seems like they vanished into thin air. To this day, um, Brandon has not been found. It has led people to sit and wonder what happened to Brandon? What happened? Why did he yell, oh shit? And that just- Okay, so that was like a really horrible angle. I was really excited to be here. Like, you can see my whole double chin and stuff. His friend was like, okay, yeah. Okay, I'll just go home. Maybe he went back into the game. His phone did die. I'm sure he's gonna come back to the apartment. Goes back to the apartment. She's waiting for him. He doesn't show up, but she does go to the authorities. No. Again, it's just kind of strange because how do you explain to them that theory so now i'm just letting my hand this is dry under the uv light now there's a thing that i call it Carpal tunnel. <laughs> Fucking hand cramped up. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I went with short now. So weird. Super duper cute though. So far, so cute. So yeah, I just got done filing, like to get shape and all. I have the file, like with the Egypt file. But I mean, so far, like I'm pretty oh. impressed. But I'm actually feeling it, and I might do it more often. That's without the e-file yet. So pretty, right? So cute. I'm gonna leave it like that. So anyways. The next thing you have to do. So I re recently just purchased this e-file. I mean, drill bit. And I actually like this one a lot. I got it from Amazon. I think I got it from Amazon. Or I might have got it from House of Supplies. From Instagram. But it's real gentle. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and e-file every nail just to get it nice and smooth and even. You don't want to be too heavy handed with it. But 
This angle, bruh. It's really not doing me no favors, like. Blowing all up in my face. Now I'm on my thumb. I always find that my thumb is like the hardest to do just because of like the angle, I guess. So now, I'm just going to use a little bit of alcohol to get the excess dust off my finger before I paint it. This one? Better than the other one. Well, that other one used to make him fall asleep. This one make him. I don't think he gives a fuck about it anymore. He's still up, but he's like real. He's trying to fight it, but he's so calm. But let me just try to like get him used to falling asleep on his own. I told the girls just to check on him every few, a few minutes. So now, basically, I'm just. Not refiling, but I'm just trying to um, clean it up a little. All right, now that's fine. Throw his bottle down. It's in there somewhere. It's probably in his playpen. And as I just took the fucking dust off, oh my god, what am I doing? So I went back in and basically got the dust off. I'm trying to get the rest off, and that's how it came out. Gosh, dust everywhere, bro. So now I'm going to go ahead and um, paint. So what I like to do when I first start this is I just take this little, little thin brush. And that's just how I outline the, um, the print like on the nail. Low power mode. Didn't I just plug John in? Yeah, what the hell? I can see the phone. Need to be perfect. So I'm just gonna draw the line, and I'm gonna paint the white paint um, above it. Who did that? I asked you guys on Twitter to give me your intentions, basically for Ren and Nautica, so we can ask it things and things that came from you guys. So keep commenting on my social medias, on Instagram and on Twitter, and. Now that I outlined all that, I'm just going to take the white polish and I'm going to um, paint that in. Okay, so I painted the white in. Now I'm going to let it dry. Okay, so now I'm going to paint the black spots on with the black gel. And I either use like this um, real thin brush and then I'll use the... Whatever this thing is called. I forget what it's called. Um, to do the dots. So. The dapper? I don't know. So I'm going to start on my pinky now. And you can just. The good thing is that you can literally do. Any design. Like any. There's no like. Right way or wrong way to do this. 
but we were on the French side of Canada. You just start making no, no. That's what you know, black about. spots. But maybe if we can get a charger for this one, we'd have to go somewhere and buy a charger. Good. So maybe at the end of the video, we'll get a charger and we'll see what's on that phone. On to the next so that's my second nail. This is real simple. So again, like I'm just placing random spots on the nail. And the good thing about animal print, like even leopard print, like it doesn't have to be perfect. Like you don't have to follow any type of like, you know, it's just like a freestyle type of thing. And that's what makes these designs unique because you can literally do it however you want. Alrighty, no filter. There's that one. Okay, See how some are bigger, some are smaller. It all depends. I really like this brush. I got this brush from Amazon. It's real small. And it's like just perfect for doing precise lines. Um, lines like this. Like it's real precise. Um, so it makes it easy to do the design. I'm obsessed with it. I tried a whole bunch of different brushes. Cause I'm really trying Look to... Look at the mailbox. Yo, we, we, we said horror? Look at that. <laughs> so cute already. Look at that. <sighs> I'm obsessed. This house was scary. Never thought I'd be... Alright, so I got all the spots drawn on with the, um, paintbrush. So now I'm just gonna take this little... I forget what this thing is called. I'm just gonna call it the Zappa. <laughs> I'm just gonna, um, put a little bit on the end. And I'm just going to place wow. random yeah. black dots this, this is way more. This is creepier. on the nail. But why did it bring us here? Is there anything like, you know, it said horror, but is there anything nope. else that can indicate random not a cop? And again, this, this does not this, have this to be like, look at these things. perfect. Be any specific like way. The first time. There's definitely more dolls. They, they definitely it's just wherever you want to place it. And that's how that came out. So, we're walking down this so now I'm going to put that in the yeah, UV like light for 60 there. seconds. Like it flew. And then I'm going to go ahead in with the gold. And there was something glowing over there. That's my favorite part. I like the gold on it. I should do my other hand leopard print. The leopard print with the butterfly. What happened? Okay, just stay, stay. What happened? Really? Do like two animal prints, you know? But I'm definitely not doing this hand tonight. So I'm definitely going to work with one hand done and one hand not done. And then I'll do the other one tomorrow. Let me know if you guys would want to see that actually live. That'd be lit. So just comment say, yeah, we want to see that drawn live. And then I'll do it live. That was a really hard hit. Yeah, Alright, so now I'm taking the gold. And this one has the little tippity tip John. I mean, if I looked at the GPS and it goes wrong, I need so help. I'm gonna, gonna paint um, random spots again, random spots on the nail. Shining? What do you mean shining? Oops. What do you mean? And I did this because when you first apply it, it doesn't um. When I saw what, where it was, it was around this area. Like, go on there, like, as much I as I would like it to. It was like a bright, flashy orb from a distance. What did you see? Yeah. But I do put these near the black dots. And charge up that phone and see what's on it. I want you to know if you guys have had any random nautica experience. You weren't going to let anything be us. My reasons for living. So, so far, this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can really see that there. No one oh my gosh. Alone. Yeah. Just like that. And it doesn't have to be perfect again. Like, you just... This is cow print. But it always comes out real nice and cute. That's why I love it. And I love the gold. It just gives it, like... You know, like a pop. Randonautica, we are watching. 
So that is the finish with the gold. No, that's my truck. I'll wake up, wake up. Um, on that phone that we I'm slight pipe. I don't think I want to take this off. Honestly. And I'm going to go ahead and dry it, it for 60 seconds. And then I'm going to put the clear coats. And I am using not polish love it because not polish is what that their products are really good at me and yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then i'll show you the finished look and i hope you guys like it if you want to see the other hand tomorrow live it'll give me something to do and i'll do it or I can go live with something else. Like I can go live with showing how I paint the bandana nails. Or I can go live with, um, I can do like request lives, like, um, like even like challenges for myself. That'll be cool. Like, hey, I'm glossy. It's like no, it was real corny of me. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what we're talking about. You see the dog? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just putting the gloss on real slow just in case. That's why I like to dry my nails, like or I'll stick it under the UV light. I'll stick it under the UV light like fifty times just to make sure I get them dry. Because sometimes even when I used to leave the nail salon, like I would hit my nail and it would mess my nail up. It would be like real heartbreaking and stuff to me, so well to any woman really. And here's the finished look with the gloss. Let me see if I can, um, I think you guys can see that. Oh, sorry, Britt. Got you all up in the cam. It's so pretty. Like, I'm lit right now. So, yeah, let me, guys, let me know if you guys want me to go live with the, um, turn um, so like I was saying, let me know if you want me to go live with the other hand or if you want me to just do another design. That'll be fun. Once I clean my hands up, they'll look so much nicer. But look at that. Super duper cute. And I never thought I would be rocking short nails, but I'm kind of lit right now. Why does that not look straight? Oh, it's the freaking gel. See what I mean? You gotta make sure you put the gel on the um the gloss it on good. Um yeah, but that's it. Hope you guys like it. I'm, like, really good with it. Um, but if you guys want to see how I do certain designs or just like learn how I do certain designs or whatever, um let me know if you want me to keep doing videos like this and then or I can do lives, whatever. I just feel like it would be really cool um, to do it and it'll give me something to do during this quarantine again. So and plus, I just really enjoy doing it. I love doing nails. I love being creative. And yeah. So just let me know. And thanks for watching.